Coach Greg McDermott. Coach, we're going to start with a statement, and then we'll go to questions. I mean, we're, we're happy to get out of here with a win. Uh, we certainly uh, didn't play our best basketball, but St. John's deserves most of the credit for that. Uh, you know, they just speed you up. They make you play uh, maybe in a way that you're not accustomed to playing. And uh, we knew we were going to get a run in the second half. And, and we talked in those timeouts about you know, just sticking with our plan, uh, taking care of the basketball. And I think after they took the lead there at 50-49, whatever it was. I think we only turned it over one more time the rest of the game. And those live ball turnovers early in the half and in the first half were a big reason they were able to hang around and then ultimately get the lead. Uh, but our, our bench uh, uh, was really, really good tonight. You know, we got 20 points off the bench. <coughs> and Sharif, it was great to have Francisco back. Mason Miller had a couple big shots, got a couple big rebounds. Um, and then Frederick Ray King gave us some minutes just to give call a rest. So uh, happy to come out here with the win. Questions? You said you knew they were going to make a run, but what's that like to watch them make their run as you guys are struggling? It seemed like you guys missed 13 straight shots. So yeah, we were really stuck in the mud there offensively. They changed their ball screen coverage from the first half. They changed it at halftime, and we didn't adjust to what was open uh, very quickly. Um, so part of the reason I think we missed the shots, we weren't necessarily getting the shots that we usually get. And, and again, that's as I said, is a credit to, to St. John's and their defense. Uh, but you know, they're, the way they pressure, um, that you know, they're always just a eyelash away from you know turning the game around and getting back into it and, and they did exactly that so they got the crowd into the game and for us to be able to uh, uh, you know take that hit and, and still find a way to win was great for our guys. You mentioned that you were getting shots you want with Emily. The woman with those three of those shots you want what's that, what's that like to see those, those go down? Yeah it was awesome you know Art, Art probably hasn't you know shot it uh, as well as he would like this season to his standards <coughs> but he does trust his work. Uh, the guy gets extra work in every day on his shooting, and you hope that that extra work will pay off when your team needs you the most. And you know, Art hit some some really big ones for us down the stretch. Greg, you guys now won six in a row against St. John's, five of them by double digits. What do you attribute to your constant success against this team? I mean, we, we've had some pretty good teams, you know, so, uh, and, you know, for the most part, uh, we've done a decent job of taking care of the basketball against them and, and keeping them off the glass. And those are two areas where they're elite live ball turnovers, they turn into offense and getting second chance opportunities. And, you know, we actually won the battle in second chance points tonight um, and, and had more points off turnovers than they did, even though we had 15 turnovers uh, as well. So. Uh, two areas that I think St. John's really can be lead at. We've done a pretty good job of handling those two areas. And I've got a lot of guys that can handle the basketball. Uh, you know, from Nampart to, to Sharif to Trey to Baylor to Far Farabella. Just got a lot of ball handlers. And Kaluma can handle it for a big. So, uh, you know, you can't really just zero in on one of our guys and try to make other guys bring it up because I have multiple guys that can do that. Anything else? Thank you.